Hi, my name is Bob and I'm renovating this 1973 Egg Harbor Sport Fish Boat. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Renovation Sport Fish. In this episode, we're going to uh, start presenting the projects that I did in the year 2015 slowly inching our way towards 2019 so we can really show some uh, action here. But anyways, inch by inch we're going to make it. Uh, in this uh, episode, um, the projects were probably done between January and April, so it's kind of cold. Uh, projects are small. Most of them are done in the shop, but most of the pictures were taken at the boat when I was fitting things. So let's get into the uh, first project. Okay, so the first little pieces I'm going to show are just some small pieces. Um, one is going to be the uh, the base for the horn, uh, which was the horns originally mounted on the side wall on the flybridge. I moved them to the front wall. Not sure I'm totally happy with the location, but that's where it's going to go. Uh, the other piece is the masthead light, which was already located on the front of the uh, flybridge front walls. Uh, putting it back in the same place, just making a new base for it. And the third thing is the lower supports for the side walls, kind of towards the aft end of them. I kind of left uh, left them kind of chopped off, so I had to build a little piece um, to fit in there. So all these pieces are solid mahogany. I had to um, just hand cut and form them, and uh, fit them, fiberglass them, and then install them. So uh, I'll check them out. If you noticed in the video I just showed of the um, little horn base piece and the navigation light base piece, uh, when I fiberglassed them, I had them on a little stand. And this is one of the stands here. And this is really helpful for uh, you know, doing epoxy fiberglass or paint, even painting something. And I just made these out of some scrap wood, a little piece of plywood screwed with a uh, piece of mahogany in this case, which is a scrap piece. And then on the top, this is just an old piece, but uh, I just put a double-sided piece of tape on there, it's like carpet tape, and uh, stick the piece on there, and um, yeah, and then I do my epoxy and fiberglass. So these things worked out good. I probably made about 10 of these things because I had a lot of little pieces to do that with. And you'll see them being used um, all throughout um, some of these videos. So just thought I'd uh, show that as a little tip. So in one of my previous episodes, I put in some overhangs on the flybridge deck. It came out over the cockpit. Now on the port side, I had made a notch in it for the ladder that goes from the cockpit up to the flybridge. So now I wanted to uh, trim that out. Uh, my original plan was to use mahogany and varnish it, but after thinking about all of the pieces I'm going to be varnishing on this bow, I decided to just... Uh, used mahogany but uh, fiberglass and painted. So didn't have any photos here of uh, making templates but that was the first step and uh, once I made the templates and I cut out the pieces and then you're going to see them uh, just being fitted in there and then uh, fiberglassed and um, installed. So uh, check them out.
largest project I'm going to show in this episode. Um, and it involves uh, the replacement of the cabin door hatch curb. Now originally this piece was fiberglass and I'm going to show you the original curb in a minute here. Uh, but I wanted to replace it with mahogany and make it a custom fit piece. The, old, the original one didn't fit great, fit okay, but I thought I could improve on it. So um, that's what you're going to see here, the um, design, fabrication, installation of uh, a new um, cabin door hatch curb. So there it is, that's the original um, curb made out of fiberglass. And I'll just go around it so you can see it. Now I wanted to match this profile here. And this is where I took a piece of three quarter inch mahogany and a piece of half inch. And that's how I made that profile. Uh, I eliminated this whole flange here, didn't use it, but I kind of kept this profile here on what I'm gonna call the nose. Uh, it didn't fit great from the factory here, uh, but um, yeah, it, it seemed to be the way to go at the time. I constantly messed around with that on the new one I built. And then I copied the same profile back here as well. Um, in the back here, you can actually see the screws that hold on the piano hinge. I'm going to do the same thing on the new piece. Haven't really got to that yet. And then we just go over to the other side and it's basically the same as the first side. So that's the hatch uh, curb that I'm replacing. I'll flip over the, I'll flip over the uh, piece so you can see the bottom. Uh, so that's what it is. It's basically a hollowed out, you know, just a formed piece of fiberglass. It's kind of a little flimsy here and there. This is the uh, Bondo type material that they used to hold it on with. Don't know if that leaked or not, but might have. And they, of course they had a piece of wood in here to uh, set the screws for the hinge. And um, basically that's it. Uh, I'll show this here too. This is like some uh, kind of rubber kind of adhesive stuff they used to hold the uh, mahogany trim piece in. Uh, they used quite a bit of it, so I don't know why you would do that, but I guess what they did. So anyways, that's the uh, the old curb that's going to be replaced. And since I have it out here, I'll show you. This is the old hatch cover. And you can see a bunch of holes in there. That was my attempt at um, getting the uh, and thing had a big kind of bend to it. It warped. And tried to re reestablish it and get it flat. But I'm gonna go over all that in another episode. I'm not gonna get into any detail on this. The only thing I really did to fit this curve was uh, trim this edge all the way around. Uh, just to get a nice even gap. All right, now that you've seen all the old stuff, now we can uh, talk about and I can show you pictures of the new stuff. Now, first I'll go over the construction of it and then I'll uh, show you some pictures and I'll come back and talk about the fiberglassing and the installing of it. So for the construction of it, started out making a couple little templates out of plywood using the uh, hatch cover to um, you know get it all set up in the boat. Once I had those templates the way I liked them, brought them back home, cut everything out of actual mahogany, and then assembled it all. Uh, I ended up putting a little temporary brace you'll see in the pictures just to hold everything square, kind of like in the middle of the, the whole assembly. I also decided to uh, attach the trim right to the curb itself. And I was going to do that for a reason. Um, really, it's why I was going to attach it to the actual boat. But I'll get into that um, in the later part. So here, let's just check out the uh, construction of it first.
So now that this assembly was fitting and it looked pretty good, uh, it was time to bring it home and fiberglass it. Now, if you want to know about how I fiberglass things, uh, you can just check out my um, last episode 14 and I did a whole demonstration on it. So that's basically what I did here. Uh, once it was fiberglassed, brought it over to the boat and installed it. Now I installed it through the trim, the side trim, uh, into some solid blocking underneath the decking and didn't put any screws through the top because it was already fiberglass. I didn't want to mess it up. Uh, but I did put plenty of epoxy underneath in between the uh, curb and the deck. Uh, it's all squeezed out and then I put my fillet around there. So that's what you're going to see here. Now, uh, one note about this whole assembly, one of the parts of it that I didn't really care for was the, uh, the front edge of it. Uh, I call it the nosing. Uh, I kind of copied what the factory did um, and I didn't like that and I didn't like what I did. So I was constantly fidgeting with that. It never seemed to fit in right. And I don't know if I got it right in the end, but even after this pictures you're going to see in this video, um, I still started messing around with it. Well, this next little project is one of those deals that um, everybody probably goes through when they do something. You get it done and then you look at it and say, hmm, I really don't like it, but should I actually change it or is it good enough? Well, that's what happened here. Um, after putting the trim in around that ladder piece, um, I started looking at the supports that I had installed to hold up the overhang. And I copied the, um, the shape of them from the outside uh, of the overhang, those uh, outside pieces, but I don't think it translated well to the ladder area or even to uh, where I put the door hatch curve on. Um, so I hemmed and hawed in my mind, I mean these pieces were already fiberglassed and in and good to go, uh, but it just was bugging me. So I ended up just getting out the oscillating tool and cutting them off. I cut about an inch and a half off uh, the ones at the ladder. Um, trim first uh, just to see if I was going to like it before I started hacking everything else up. And I think it looks a lot better, it looks a lot lighter, uh, the overhang actually looks like it's a little more f floating than just being held up by these massive uh, supports. for this episode hope you liked it and um, come back for the next one um, thanks for watching and uh, if you haven't subscribed um, please subscribe I uh, always like to see a subscriber it gives me a lot of incentive to keep uh, banging out these videos um, if not that's okay too you know, just enjoy that people are enjoying the videos um, so until next time have a good one and we'll see you real soon right here on Renovation Sportfish